one of the great things that we've done here in the radiology department too in the last couple of years, we've done a major remodeling of the department that uh, is more patient friendly. We now have a CT waiting room right across from CT, uh, which is very convenient for our patients. Uh, they can drink their barium uh, if they're having a study that requires them to drink that contrast material. Um, and they're very close then to the CT. When we're ready for them, we can just call them in and, and they're separated from the other patients. So that's worked out very well for us. This is the CT control room. My name is Dana Guthy. I'm a CT technologist at Cleveland Regional. Um, what the CT scanner does is the easiest way to describe it is it looks um, at your body in slices. It can start from the top and go all the way to the bottom, whatever you want to look at. Head, chest, abdomen, pelvises, we do extremities. And the way that I tell people is that it takes a slice and it looks like different depths inside of your body. And um, we do children, we do adults. Um, we have the four slice scanner, which this is the four slice scanner. We have a new scanner, which is a 64 slice. Um, and we'll be doing heart studies and other types of studies with that. And it's just a real quick scan. It gets the patient in and out a whole lot quicker. And um, I really enjoy working in CT. I've been a, a technologist for 27 years, but I uh, worked in diagnostics and um, I've been in CT for almost two years. And I really enjoy it, really like doing what I do. Why, why would a person go for a CT revenue? It depends on what the doctor is looking for. If it's um, like the soft tissue, the ligaments, like the tendons and all like that, they want to go with the MRI. It gives a different kind of detail than a CT. A CT shows like the organs, uh, can show the vessels of your body, shows the bones. So that's kind of like the difference. It just depends on what the doctor wants to look at. What it does is, is when it's just, um, it's called a helical and what it does is just goes straight through and it takes like you think it's like in no time takes like a what some people say an x-ray but it goes a continual scan and when it does your scan it does slices but as it comes out on the computer it's just it looks just like it's just one image being made from top to bottom the computer takes the images that the scanner right here will send to it and put it all together to make like one long scan. So, uh, slice thickness depends upon what you're x-raying, I mean what you're scanning rather. Um, if they want detail, like for a lot of, um, let's say for bone detail or for spine detail, the neck, you do a smaller thickness. If it's the abdomen, you do a larger thickness. So it really just depends on what, what you're looking at.